Good morning. Welcome to a momentous occasion. It is build day 40. God, it's hard to believe we've been at this for 40 days now. Uh, just a hair after 11. I got lazy this morning. <laughs> Figure I got the time I could be a little lazy. We're just getting out here. Haven't moved the truck yet, and Kaylee's waiting for that because we got an errand to run too. But I wanted to come out and check water level on the ponds to see if we had any leakage. And the ponds look like they are doing okay. They're about up to the same height, so no leakage in the water room. Let's go check the clown. For some reason, I like to angle the camera down when I'm walking. It needs to be up like this. And the clown looks like it's doing okay. It's down just a tad, but that's from the water blaster going off. So it looks like everything is okay. I can go ahead and throw the switch. We'll turn the pumps on to start the fountains and also turn the blow-ups on at the same time. I like that idea. It's kind of nice just having that, those switches on that new power box. I don't have to run around to the power pole and everything else and try to plug everything in. Just walk out the door, throw a switch. Kaylee, get your bone. Come on. She's bringing her toy. She's happy. Uh, first chore of the day out here Kay and I are going to go move the truck Kaylee you dropped your bone again get it get your bone <laughs> she's leaving me landmines to trip on but we've got to go up to Ace to pick up some flame bulbs if they have any left in stock uh, I got two candelabras back there the one over here on this side is working the one on that side quit. Now we've had some problems in the past with those bulbs not wanting to work. So I'm hoping, uh, you know, it's just the bulbs and the bulbs need to be replaced. Uh, if not, it could be that the candelabra itself has crapped out. Kaylee, get that bone. So we're going to go up to Ace and buy some more flame bulbs to put in there to see if we can get that lamp working. Uh... And then when we get back, our major chore are going to be the doorways. we got to get all the black plastic tarp in. Well, actually, we're going to get the flame bolts put in and the, and the witch display clothes off. Then we're going to get out here and we're going to start putting all the black plastic up on all the doorways, which will take some time. And now i got to get this doorway mounted here as well. So those are the two main chores today. Uh, breakfast of the day, uh, apple fritter and a Coke. That's what I'm hungry for. I know, people are sort of getting so tired of the apple fritters, but apple fritters happens to be my favorite donut. Uh, oop, wrong button. I turned on that one, that turns on the LEDs. We need that one on, which starts that which also happens to start the pond. And I probably should go back out and double check the ponds again, but screw it. <laughs> anyway, let's get the day started. All right, I figure it's time for a segment. Uh, I believe the last segment was the opening. And I got Katie out here. She came out wanting to see what Papa was doing. Been working most of the day on those there, curtains. Uh, one down there from the entrance, coming in here. This goes into Gypsy. And then I got another one from corn into each set. There's a curtain. Got coming out of corn there, into spider. That's all I've been working on. I've made it through the whole haunt so far. Uh, also, I've been going through sealing up displays. Uh, Gypsy was one of them. We just did a uh, test both here in the Gypsy and over in the Pirate. Uh, with this gate sealed, Suan's the one that normally gets the water into the uh, misters. And this one we've got three. We've got the scrying bowl and we got the teapot, which you can reach from outside the fence. 
the one in the uh, cauldron on the fireplace so she can't reach. So I went and got a uh, PVC pipe out. Oh, it's about eight foot long. Lightweight enough. And she can actually put that in there. Put the spout of the watering can in it and fill the fountains from out here. That uh, skull one back there is a mist or two. Same thing. Just uses the PVC pipe. <laughs> but it works. Uh, I've also got this display sealed up because we, we went and got the swords in finally. So this one's all locked up. I do believe all the displays are now locked up except for the attack spider here. And that's because I need to get the projector in, which is going to be done hopefully today. I'm being lazy. I'm, I don't have a whole hell of a lot of energy. I've not been sleeping good. Uh, my next chore, though, before we get go any further, is that there. And that's the door that fits here. I've got hinges permanently attached to it already. So what I need to do is take this skin off, set it into place, and just attach the skins to this two by two. And then put the skin back on. So not a real hard project. But we've got that done, and then uh, once it is done, it's time to get projectors in. Uh, I've got the projector for the attack spider, for this screen, and for that screen. It goes in that box there. And to get both of these projectors working, i got to do some electrical work. i got to run a power cord over here to power the stereos and the projector, and i got to run an extension cord over to power the projector behind that wall. So, and I think we're gonna be done for the day. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything else. Time I get that done, it's gonna be dark. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, we got the door in. And I went and did a simple latch to keep it shut, just a block of wood with a screw on it. Move it up, push the door out. And come around you can see the block of wood there and then stick your finger in and go down and it's latched and someone's coming out who's coming out it's me uh mama asked me to come in and stay once oh hold on dinner quest sorry about that Turan was taking dinner uh dinner orders i wanted sausage toast and eggs which is what sounded good tonight so you got dinner of the day, there you go. But I'm doing something different with the sausage, I mean with the uh, toast and the eggs. I'm gonna have a peanut butter and fried egg sandwich, so with sausage on the side. But uh, anyway, so we got that in. So when they come down the hall, these will be closed. We'll come down this hall into here and we'll have a video there and we'll have a video there. That reminds me, I need a piece of clear tape to tape up my hole here. I can just see someone sticking their finger in there and rap. But uh, anyway, we got the door on. Now, I've got a couple things I can do out here I still need to do. We have over a half a bale of hay left over. And last year, we went and took it and put it down on the pathway for people to walk through in, uh, in the uh, corn area. I think I'm going to do that again. Swan's going to hate it because we ended up having it strewn halfway through the next display. So we'll have hay scattered all the way in here. But I think we're going to do it anyway. I kind of I like the effect of it. Then I can seal up the corn and the corn will be sealed up. So I think I'm going to work on that now I just gotta remember to hit that latch on the door but anyway I got you another segment got another thing done okay got you some nighttime footage uh, it's after dinner I started just before dinner over here in the corn area last year we had just under half a bale of corn left or not corn but hay left and Sue Ann had the idea of putting it on the floor in the uh, corn. You know, people would have to tread through it. 
This year we used less hay, so we had almost a full bale. So we had a lot left over. Uh, so I put it in here on the floor so people have to cramp through it. Which makes it look interesting. And I haven't been inside the corn this deep with all the windstorms. So I have a little bit of straightening up I need to do in here. But for the most part, it's pretty good. Uh, I know right here is where the uh, doors are. We've got them shut finally. I gotta get them sealed. I've gotta do some work up here with that corn up top to get to pull further back because it's all kind of leaning in. Or I might leave, I don't know. But I do know I have a hole right here where people can see through. You can see the trailer and stuff. I've got four or five stocks left. I think I'll probably get out here tomorrow and I'll straighten this up and we'll get this finished off. Other than that, things are pretty much done in the corn. I got to uh, bolt the doors shut so they don't get blown open by the wind. And I got to straighten up the corn where the doors are. And that's a job for tomorrow. Our next chore, to give you a little bit more footage before I call it quits out here, is going to be in here. We're in with the attack spider. And I got to get the projector in the box up there. And we're going to try to get that uh, going. That way I can get this closed up in here. So I got to get the projector and don't need an extension cord. I left a fitting for it right here. So uh, let's try to get the projector in and get that tuned and up and running. I just got to go downstairs and get it. All right, a little bit more nighttime footage for you. We got the attack spider done, gate sealed, but that's what the video projector is doing. I don't know if the phone's picking you up. You can also hear the uh, jack in the box firing over and over and over again. I'm gonna have to get in there and take a look at it. Take a look, I've got a uh, extra sensor that's never been used. I'll try uh, putting that on it tomorrow and see if it's doing the same thing. If it is, then I'm not sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> but I'll worry about that till tomorrow. Still got a couple of days. But anyway, when they come in, that is going to be, distract them. When they get right here, that thing fires off. And right now, the board's working, but I do not have power to the spider itself so it won't go but i do have the gate is uh sealed so spider is effectively done all the displays are sealed uh like i said i've got to open up the jack in the box tomorrow so or before we open but anyway we're going to start getting things closed down here it's going on about eight o'clock go get the truck and stuff parked we'll get uh, give you a wrap up and then go get things edited Okay, end of the day wrap up. Short, simple, quick, and easy. Recap for today. We spent most of the day getting the curtains up and all the displays. Uh, we got the hay in on the corn area. And we got the projector in on the spider. That's all we got accomplished today. And I wasn't rushing, pushing it. I was just taking my time doing things. Oh, I almost forgot. We got the door in too. So, <laughs> so that, that was something else that we got accomplished today. On the docket for tomorrow, uh, I've got to get the box designed and made to hold this camera, because this camera is going to be the uh, scare camera. So, uh, we got to get that set up and working. Uh, not going to be a very big box, it's going to be a small box. Uh, but we need to get it put together, get it mounted, get the box painted. Uh, I'd like to have it painted black instead of leaving natural wood because it'll show up like crazy if I don't. Black will blend into things with where it's going. Uh, I gotta get the front porch wired and the projectors in for the uh, courtyard. There's two, one here on the porch, one over there that needs to get put in. Uh, don't know if I'll put the stereos out here tomorrow or not. I might wait till later in the week for that. 
uh, repairs, fixes, and changes. I need to get over and mess around with the jack in the box. Uh, the board on that one is just firing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And it wasn't doing that when I originally, uh, originally programmed it. So it could be a combination of things. One, it could be a bad sensor. Or, what I'm thinking now, it might end up being the uh, wire going from the sensor to the board running over a bunch of electrical lines. Uh, I am not use, using shielded wiring to go out to the sensor, it's just regular speaker wire. And if you run it over electrical lines, the electrical lines can cause it to uh, trigger. Uh, the sensor to trigger over and over again. So I need to check my sensor cord, which means opening up the wall on the pirate area to get back access to it and have a look at it. And with all the high winds that we've been having and the wiring is just laying in there loose, that could be the problem. That could be what's causing the problem. Uh, so I'm hoping that's it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I need to take a look at that. And then I need to get over and get the doors and the corn sealed, totally sealed. I'll, I'll put a screw through them to uh, keep them from opening. And I need to rearrange a corn on the wall, and I can't do that in the dark. I need daylight for it. And that should be a semi-quick project, uh, hopefully. <laughs> Another one of those semi-quick things taking for hours. So we got some stuff on the docket. Uh, today is Monday. We open for VIP night on Friday and then open to the public on Saturday. So, uh, you know, we're getting down to crunch time, but there's not much crunching to do. It's just basically debugging and, you know, what have you. So, uh, just about everything's out that needs to be out. Uh, I got the projectors, like I mentioned here for the courtyard and the stereos. Uh, I still need to get the foggers in I've got one for the arch in the cemetery, one that's going in the corn, one in the uh, photo hallway in the uh, Scalabra, and one in the uh, photo op out front. So I got four foggers, and I got a bubbler out there I need to put in, and I've also got a projector out there to put in. So uh, that's basically, other than doing maintenance type things like the corn, finishing the corn off and fixing the jack in the box, we're good to go. We are definitely good to go. <laughs> so, uh, not all that much. I think if I push it, I could probably get everything done tomorrow if I wanted to. And I don't. I'm enjoying getting up late and going to bed early. Uh, you know, I've been needing it. You know, we went right from work into this, and actually, we went into this before we got out of work. You know, and I've been burning the candle at both ends, so my body's getting a little bit more recovery. I'm getting a little bit more energy back. So, but anyway, I'm going to call it quits. Go get you guys edited. Stay spooky. Stay toxic.